the evolution of black studies. Dr. Milana Karenga has made a profound impact on the culture of African Americans as the creator of Kwanzaa, a holiday celebrated each December. He has also played a key role in shaping Afrocentric thought and philosophy as the founder of several black nationalist organizations. He holds two PhDs and has had a prominent impact on the evolution of black studies in American higher education. But just what is the direction of this evolution? Dr. Milana Karenga is professor and the chair of the Department of Black Studies at California State University at Long Beach and the author of his newest book, Introduction to Black Studies. Thank you, sir, for being with us. It's good to be here. This is uh, your 15th book? Yes, it is. You've been busy. Yes, I've <laughs> tried to be. <laughs> you um, uh, uh, started black studies. You were one of the prominent and still are figures in black studies and higher education mm -hmm. in the United States. It wasn't real safe when you, when you started out with black studies, was it? No. We um, started black studies in about 1966. The struggle originated in San Francisco uh, with the students demanding a relevant education. And by relevant education, we mean, first of all, an education that could serve the interests of our community, the country, and humanity. Humanity, because we were operating on the fundamental fact that as African culture teaches us that knowledge is never simply knowledge for knowledge's sake. Knowledge is for human sake. And the question as Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, one of our great educators, says is what are we going to do with our knowledge? And she said we must discover the dawn and then share it with the masses of our people who need it most. And so the principle uh, here is that knowledge is not simply knowledge for knowledge's sake. It's knowledge for human sake. How can we use this knowledge to improve the human condition and enhance the human future? How does black studies fit into that? Well, black studies, that's one of the first things we had to do is establish our relevance. We said first that black studies is important because it's first a contribution to humanity's understanding itself. We are the fathers and mothers of humanity and human civilization, and education is deficient that does not include that reality that is black studies. Second, black studies is a contribution to society's understanding itself. America cannot be understood simply by its best documents. It's a good thing many of those things are on the paper. You might not find them anywhere else. You understand a society also by how it treats its most vulnerable people and what has happened in order to shape it in a more human and valuable image. Uh, third, we say black studies is important because it's a contribution to creating a new social science, also of rescuing and reconstructing black history and humanity, speaking our special cultural truth to the world, making our own unique contribution to the forward flow of human history. And black studies is also important in halting and reversing one of the greatest problems of humankind, and that is the progressive Europeanization of human consciousness and human culture. Now those are noble ideals uh, that uh, this was 20 how many years ago when? Oh, nine, since 1966. Six, 66. Yes. What is your interpretation of the evolution of those noble ideas? How has it played out? Uh, overall in terms of black studies. I see reports now of black studies stars who uh, uh, quit and another university bids and so forth. Uh, is, is that to your liking? Oh, well, what we have to do is rep recognize the diversity in black culture. And we're the most democratic and individualistic people in the world, even though our value is communitarianism or collective emphasis in Africa. Nevertheless, we are African Americans and the American part of us is highly individualistic. So people are going to pursue their own path. That should not be a problem because Jews, Gentiles, they all got different of opinion on political science, sociology, religion. How is it then that we're under the spotlight because all of us don't say the same thing at the same time? But at, at, as, a, as a discipline, yes. were, is, is black studies going in the direction that you want it to go in? That well, you, overall, I, not, not that every single person right, is doing right, it right. the same way. I think that those people that belong to the National Council of Black Studies are doing what I would 
would like to see done. And that is always linking the campus with the community, the community with the campus, using this knowledge to improve the human condition and enhance the human future. That's what I think we should be all about. That's what those people who belong to our major professional organizations, also the African Heritage Studies Association, are about. That's what they're doing. So I appreciate that. The other people who are not doing that, I mean, that's not black studies. So what we have to do is not talk about personalities and about people doing certain things at certain key institutions, but we're talking about how does this knowledge translate into a political practice that gives people the self-conscious capacity to not only satisfy their needs, but transform themselves in the process, making themselves self-conscious agents of their own liberation. That's improvement of the community. 